Hey everyone, I'm Jim Green of OnSachem.com. We're out here along the shoreline of Lake Ronkonkoma for this first day of summer. The community came out after being cooped up for several months because of the pandemic. They're out here today to clean up the shoreline and return some summertime beauty to the lakefront. You lived in Ronkonkoma for 50 years. You've always seen and enjoyed the lake. Tell me about your history here and why you think it's important to be a part of today. Uh, well, I remember back in the day when I used to take uh, my nieces and nephews down, we were actually able to enjoy the lake and go in the water and just have a nice outing. And we just want everybody to enjoy this land and make it, make it better. It's not gonna be like it used to be when I was growing up, I don't think. But I still have hope. The Lake Rokokoma Improvement Group comes out here every year, but this year it was delayed because of the pandemic. Tell me about how you finally got out here. Well, we wanted to start in April and it just wasn't happening. Everything was bad. We try to start April because you can get the weeds when they're very small. So we just kept putting things off and putting things off. So it was really important to get here today because the one area where we, the county had cut down all the locust trees were now three and three and four feet high. And it, they just come back and come back. So if you don't keep trimming, they don't die. If you trim, they will die eventually. So it's very important that the weeds, and we have a beautiful view of our lake at Larry's Landing, and we couldn't see the lake anymore from there. So it was important to come back, and everybody just loves everybody. So the town of Brookhaven has worked with the community over the years to help improve the lake quality. Tell me about that. Well, we worked with Elrig three years ago when we first had a me meeting with Neil Foley and members of the community. You know, there was a lot of different issues that had to get taken care of. And one of the things that we, a bunch of things that we were working on, you know, was right away was just cleaning up the lake. So town provided dumpsters, bags, gloves to start. You know, then there was graffiti removal that went on. And, you know, other issues have come up. One of the environmental problems facing this lake is all the stormwater runoff. Now here along the side streets by Lakeshore Road, the side streets go downhill and the stormwater goes straight into the lake. The town of Brookhaven was looking for a solution to help solve that problem. So they just installed curbs and storm drains over by Larry's Landing. The problem that we had here was direct road runoff going into the lake and it was washing a lot of uh, debris out of the county parkland here into the lake as well as uh, the material coming off the road. So what we did is we added curbing to direct the water flow into a new series of drains that we installed uh, upstream, so to speak, to capture that water before it gets down to the landing here. So that water goes into those storm drains, is filtered naturally through the soil column, that sediment, um, any debris off the roadway is captured in those drains, and it allows us to clean those drains out, keep that material uh, out of the lake, very importantly, and also filter that water through the ground before it gets into the lake instead of having that direct discharge. Going forward we still have a lot of work to do and I've always said the big part of this group and project that we need to do is eventually the water quality. Um, we're cleaning up it looks great the shores look great but eventually we need to clean the water and I know this group and myself and the other elected officials in the area are definitely talking to people from the state and the DC on how to do it and there's many reasons why the water quality is not where it should be but we just have to make sure we find solutions to each one of those issues. Now, this is not just a one-time deal for the volunteers. They'll be out here several times throughout the summer and into the fall. Along Lakeshore Road, near Larry's Landing in Lake Ronkonkoma, I'm Jim Green on Sachem.com.